Hi, welcome to Ask Me About Dyslexia. My name is Pam Spock and I'm a dyslexia specialist. You may notice that things look a little different back here. That's because I've been redoing my office this week and pretty soon when it's all done, I promise you I will do an office tour. But today, I am going to be showing you some things that I have bought at the Dollar Tree that are great teaching tools whether you're working with kids who have dyslexia or not. So stick around to see what kind of tools you can find at the Dollar Tree for helping kids with dyslexia. The Dollar Tree is a great place to find inexpensive and fun things to use to help your kids. So let's take a look at some things that I have found in the past couple months. Some of them I just got, so they're still fresh in the package, and some I have already started using with my students, and they're actually pretty well worn, but they're pretty sure that all of these are still currently available at the Dollar Tree. Okay, let's start with these foam alphabet puzzles. Now I got these because I was looking for something that a student could use to match up uppercase and lowercase letters. And I found these and I thought they were perfect. And it turned out that they were just the thing that I needed for one student in particular who was having trouble um, understanding the concept of uppercase and lowercase letters and which letters went with what and just really making that connection. And so a puzzle is something that you can touch. How I use these is that I have the student take all the letters out and mix them all up and then they have to match the uppercase A with the lowercase A, the uppercase B with the lowercase B, and so on. And as we go along, I ask the student to say the sounds that go with those letters. Um, then when we're all done, we get, we get to put the puzzle back together so it's practicing alphabetical order. Here are a couple of things that I got a while back and have already been using. And sorry, that kind of messes with the light when I hold it up. Oh. <laughs> um, this is just a whiteboard, a little whiteboard. It actually came with a clip right here and a, a dry erase marker. And um, so my kids enjoy writing on dry erase boards. And here's another thing that they like to write on. This is just a little, I guess it's like a magnetic writer, it has a little pen here. And so I have them use this to practice writing letters. And then you can just erase it. So that's kind of fun. I look for as many different ways as I can find for them to practice their letters, letter sounds, letter writing. So just having something different gets them excited about it. Speaking of letters, the Dollar Tree has these amazing alphabets to put up on the wall. And this is actually a new one that I have bought to put in my office. And I have one that I use at school. So oh, for a dollar, this is super nice. I also found this nice map of the United States that I'm gonna put on the wall of my office. I have another one that I'm going to use in the room where I work at school. And the reason that I got this is because I have noticed that oftentimes my students have a hard time understanding things that are in stories. And so you know, they have just no idea of where the different states are or different countries and they need to get a world map too. So I got this to hang up so that we can actually look and find those places. And I found this cute alphabet game of, it's called Feed the Monster Alphabet Game. And what it has in here is uh, four little monsters and they uh, all have a place here for you to write a letter. They're kind of shiny and they have a place for you to write the letter and then with a dry erase pen so you can change it. It also comes with these stickers that have little pictures on them. And so whatever is on the picture, whatever letter that object starts with is what monster you're supposed to match it up with. Uh, like you're gonna feed the monster those items that begin with the letter that the monster's holding. This seems to be a one-use thing because these are stickers. I'm not sure if they're supposed to be reusable because the monster seems to have a shininess to it. And actually, I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. 
Yeah, so these little monsters, aren't they cute? Too funny. <laughs> uh, they have a place for you to write the letter of your choice. And then the student can put a sticker in the monster's tummy. But I want to be able to use this multiple times. And so I'm going to laminate these to make sure that we'll be able to erase. And then I'm also going to laminate the stickers and then cut them into little squares and we can just place them on the little monster. In fact, I might figure out some way for the monster to actually eat it. Like I might uh, cut a slit where the mouth is and stick it onto a box or something. That might be kind of fun to do that the monster actually eats the, the item that it's that's got on the picture. Anyways, haven't quite figured all that out yet, but I am going to uh, get that done over the summer. Now, these next objects, you have to kind of think outside the box a little bit for these. As I walk through the Dollar Tree, sometimes I'm just trying to let my imagination run wild. How could I use this item in an unconventional way? So, um, that's what we've got here. I guess this is for like a veggie platter or a fruit platter and you put the dip inside or I guess you could put tortilla chips and salsa in here or guacamole but what I see here is something that you can use for sorting so you could have kind of similar to the monster game you could have different letters in the different spots and pictures that they have to sort things that begin with that letter you could do it with vowel sounds and they whatever vowel sound they hear in that word you could have them put them sort them in there uh, you could even put different spelling rules if you're uh, working with kids with dyslexia they learn a lot of different spelling rules and the more different ways you can find a practice then the more solid it's going to become and the more likely they are going to be to use it and so you might put a different spelling rule here and then have words on little cards and they have to figure out and sort out which spelling rule that new, that word is following so just think about things in different ways here's another thing that I found <laughs> that I think the kids will think it's fun that it's just kind of adapting it to my use and so this is a little frog jump game here um, where you press on the, the frog and it makes the frog jump and you're supposed to try to get the frog into this little, um, I guess that's supposed to be a pond, a pool, I don't know. But um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a permanent marker and write vowel sounds, vowels on here. And as the student has the frog jump, they have to say the vowel sound. So just something different, something fun, another fun way to practice. And the kids don't realize that they're learning when they're playing a game. And then I just have a couple of little things here. They're actually the same thing, but in two different sizes. Little dice and big dice. <laughs> These are really fun. They're foam. They're kind of soft. Um, so sometimes the games we play involve dice, but also sometimes I end up working with kids on math. Dice is a really great way to practice math, especially addition. So you roll the dice and you just counting. It's another good way of counting. And then it is also, you can add up whatever's on there. So roll a five and a four, five plus four is nine. So it's just another fun way to practice. Even with these, you can even toss them on the floor and they're nice and big. So they had these in all different colors. I chose the blue because it had the uh, greatest contrast with the um, paint color. So yeah. So those are just some fun things that I found at the Dollar Tree that I have either been using with my students and they have loved them, or things that I have recently purchased and will be putting into practice soon. And the kids love it when I have something new. So just some tips and tricks. This is not a um, 
sponsored video by the Dollar Tree or anything. I hope that these tips have been helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.